Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Max here, and I'm bringing you another GTA 5 video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to mod single player cars into GTA 5 Online after the 1.10 patch. Now, a car that's very popular that can be used with this is Franklin's Bravado Buffalo. That's actually what I use in this video. It's a really sick car, and it's uh, only in single player, so you can mod it into multiplayer to have on GTA 5 Online. So, uh, you can use that with all of your friends, and it looks sick. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in today's video. But before I get on with that, I appreciate it if you would leave an early like on this video. Let's try and hit 200 likes. It really helps me out and really helps on my channel. It helps my videos get out there. And also, if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 20,000 subscribers. So, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you must do is you want to be in GTA 5 Online, obviously in an invite-only session. And once you're in an invite-only session, you just want to grab any random car off the streets. And you want to go ahead and drive over to your nearest Los Santos Customs and just chill outside of Los Santos Customs. And uh, press pause and go over to Online and go over to Options and make sure your spawn location is set to Last Location. Yeah, a lot of times it's going to be set to your apartment. I had it set to apartment, just set it to last location. And once you have done that, you just want to go down on the online tab and you just want to click leave GTA 5 online. So this will bring you to single player. And once you're in single player, you want to go ahead and stand by the car that you want to bring into GTA 5 online. Here in this situation, I'm standing by Franklin's Bravado Buffalo as Franklin. So I just stand by that. And once you're doing that, you just want to press pause, uh, go over to online, play GTA online, and start up an invite-only session. So once you're in GTA 5 Online, you should most likely spawn right by Los Santos Customs and you just want to find any car off the street and you want to go ahead and drive it into Los Santos Customs. And once you're in Los Santos, you want to press pause and you want to go over to the Xbox Game Store and uh, here's when things get a bit tricky. So once you press A to go to the Xbox Game Stores, it's going to be loading up and in the bottom right, you'll see it says transitioning to the Xbox Game Store. Here in this situation, you want to unplug your Ethernet cable so it'll disconnect you from Xbox Live. Now, unplugging your Ethernet will obviously sign you out of Xbox Live. So uh, once you unplug your Ethernet, it's going to get you out of GTA 5 Online. And you just want to say, yep, bring me back to single player. And it'll bring you back to single player. And you want to go ahead and get in the car that you want to bring to GTA 5 Online. And uh, just drive it all the way over to Los Santos Customs. Here I have Franklin's Bravado Buffalo. And once you're at Los Santos, you want to... Go ahead and park your car about halfway into Los Santos Customs. So if the garage were to close, it would close on the car. So you just want to park it halfway in like I did here. And um, once you have it parked there, you want to go ahead and pause the game, plug your Ethernet cord back in, and sign back into Xbox Live on your account. Here I'm signing in, and once you're signed back into Xbox Live, you just want to start up a GTA 5 online session, an invite only session, and it'll bring you to online, and you will spawn near Los Santos Customs, and you just want to go ahead and run all the way over to Los Santos where the door is, and you should see your car there from single player. Here I have Franklin's Bravado Buffalo, you'll see the door is closed onto it. You just want to get inside of it and you can drive it into Los Santos Customs. And you can put a tracker on it, you can put insurance on it. So that's basically all you have to do. And if you guys want to spawn in something like a Bugatti that you can't steal off the streets and go into Los Santos Custom with, you're going to have to watch my video on how to store any car in your garage. So that way you can make it one of your own cars so you can bring it into Los Santos. But uh, with Franklin's Rattle of Buffalo, you are allowed to bring it into Los Santos Customs. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. Hopefully it wasn't too hard to follow. Um, if you guys did find it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave a like on this video. It just helps my videos get out there. helps them get noticed, and it really does not take any time at all. So... Go ahead and leave a like, and if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more daily GTA 5 content on my channel. So that's it, guys, and I'm out. Peace.